Alrighty, testing, testing. You've heard about the Karens, the managers, the corporate, but have you guys ever wondered how it all started? Oh, well, get ready for this one, because this is the origin story, how I actually started working at Walmart. I think this story is a little long overdue, and those first few days, they were pretty interesting. So let's just kick right to it. The year was 2019, and I was a senior in high school, and throughout the weeks of my senior year, I was wondering, hmm, could really use some extra money. I was broke and I wanted something in my pockets besides lint. So me and my mom agreed on me finding a part-time job as long as I can keep my grades up. Oh, and I was excited to start my first job. But where should I apply? I heard one of our friends was working at our local Walmart and I lived right down the street from it. So I figured it was a no brainer. Boo. Did I scare you? Why did I do that? <laughs> I applied to Walmart online, and two weeks after, I heard absolutely nothing from them. My friend D, who was our friend who was actually working at Walmart, told me to go in person and ask if they've seen my application. Okay, I got you. I then went to Walmart and found a hiring supervisor. Hey, I was wondering if you guys have seen my application. Are you guys still hiring? Oh, oh snap, can you start today? Start today? That alone should have been a red flag for the job. Because if any job asks you to start the same day, who? you're in for a ride um not today but maybe next week oh that's perfect here's a vest i'll see you monday did i just get hired on the spot all right guess i'm looking forward to monday now let's fast forward to that monday i was given a tour of the store along with two other new hirees and i was really excited when they let us tour the back specifically i don't know it was always a bucket list thing however every employee that i would say hi to they looked absolutely miserable being there huh that's weird. And you're probably wondering what the first task I did was. Was it a cashier pushing carts? Nope. Before we were even allowed to go on the sales floor, I had to watch a series of videos in the computer lab in the back. Yeah, we had a computer lab, but it was a bunch of dusty, old, slow computers from the 90s. I saw an employee during his break, however, be on cool math games, and our supervisor told him to get off. Oh, and these videos were so freaking boring, but they were mandatory to watch. There was even a progress bar on top. You know what? Let me reenact one to show you what they kind of looked like. Hello, Walmart family. So happy you can join us. Allow me to show you some quick rules on how to be an employee. Rule number one, smile all the time. You want to greet people with your beautiful face. Rule number two, say hi to all customers. Hi, welcome to Walmart, happy to help. Leave me alone. Sorry. And rule number three, if anyone ever asks a question, always help them. Hey, where's the safe to the store? Turn left and go all the way to the back. Yeah, those videos are way too cookie cutter and they would hurt my brain. Man, there ain't no way I'll offer to tie somebody's shoe. A brand new coworker who was next to me that was also hired would end up napping on company time. And people would come inside and out of the computer lab frequently because there was a fridge there where a lot of people had their lunches. And anytime an employee would come in, you would start hearing drama. Yeah, I can't believe she got pregnant and the dad might be the store manager or the security guard. What? Anyways, let's fast forward from all those videos and talk about the first time that I was on the sales floor because the minute i left the employees only section i immediately got raided oh my god finally a worker do you know where the baby diapers are um i just started working here so i'm not too familiar where anything is wow so walmart really does end up hiring anybody some worker the first time i went to a cash register was not any better either because even though the videos taught me how to work the register i really was not paying attention um john how do i remove an item just cancel it what does that mean oh my line was getting longer and longer and I was getting overwhelmed. I ended up having John take over to register and I would bag the groceries trying to learn from him. But it does not matter what your Walmart position is because you'll always encounter a Karen. And my first Karen encounter was when I was bagging groceries for this lady. Hey, stop! Something wrong, ma'am? Careful with the eggs! What are you, new or something? I actually am, ma'am. Are you giving me an attitude? No, no, sorry, sorry. I'm sending this video to corporate. Please, not corporate. I just stopped started here. Or hey, don't cave in. Give her an attitude back. Whatever, Karen. Hi, corporate. That was when I first learned what high corporate meant. <laughs> But that's not all, folks. Because out of nowhere, I started hearing yelling from the customer service line. It was among two customers, and it looked like a fight was about to break out. Hey, no cutting. I didn't cut. I've been here the whole time. Oh, Jorge, watch this. Watch this. Why are you laughing? I was such a wuss. And out of nowhere, one of the guys throws a loaf of bread at the other guy. Hey, take it outside. Take it outside. My manager said, whoa, I just saw my first fight. That was not 
nothing, Jorge. You're in for a treat. Oh, man. Welcome to Walmart. Yes, sir. Join the Discord, follow the Instagram, subscribe to the streaming channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world. Bye.